In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my top tips on how to survive this holiday season without gaining weight. What's up guys, Nikki Fit from NikkiFitFitness.com and today I am here to talk to you about some of my favorite holiday tips on how to avoid unwanted weight gain and also survive holiday events. Ah, I know, as fun as they are, they can be super duper stressful. And if you're hosting an event, it can also be stressful too. So that is what this video is gonna focus on. If you have not seen my past two videos, I highly recommend you go and check those out. Each one of them has six tips and it all connects together. So now we're on the final video, part three, and this is if you are hosting, what to do and how to avoid unwanted holiday weight gain and also make it the healthiest holiday possible. All right, my friends, so here's number one. This is huge. If you're hosting, you are in control of the menu. This is your opportunity to share your new healthy way of life with your friends and family. If your tradition is always to have macaroni and cheese and dinner rolls and you know a huge spread of desserts and different things like that, you're in control of the menu. Now granted, some guests are gonna to wanna to bring things and you can let them bring things, but you're in control of the main part. So making sure that you have really good, healthy, clean protein sources, cook lots of different veggies, right? You don't need carbohydrates. You don't need pasta. You don't need rice. You don't need these things. I'm not saying I don't eat rice. I eat lots of rice cakes and rice and things like that. I don't eat pasta because I don't eat gluten and that's a whole other thing in itself. Um, but you have the ability to share your journey and influence others. Influence your family members. Some of our older family members sometimes still have an old school train of thought when it comes to health and eating and wellness. So this is your opportunity to educate them and show them and explain to them why you're choosing to have butternut squash instead of macaroni and cheese, right? So that's number one, you are in control of the menu. So expose others to some really fun, yummy, healthy menus. All right, so tip number two, invest in Tupperware. So if you have an event, you have tons of people at the house, or even a few people at the house, you're most likely gonna have some food left over. So put it in Tupperware, send it home with your guest, right? Just because you have in your house doesn't mean you have to eat it. It's really awesome because you can also gift it to others. You could send it home with your family and friends. Maybe you gift it to someone that you know who can't go see their family this year because they can't fly because of COVID and all these different things going on. And you could gift them a home cooked meal. What an awesome holiday present that would be for someone. So, you know, invest in Tupperware, send stuff home with friends and family, and that way they can enjoy it, nothing goes to waste. And then you're also not stuck eating all this food for days and days on end. That being said, tip number three, you might have food left over anyways, so freeze it. Just because you have it doesn't mean it has to go in your refrigerator. You can freeze it and eat it at a later date, especially if it's stuff that's higher in calories and things like that. You do not have to eat it. That goes for sweet treats too. Cakes and cookies and things like that, they actually freeze pies, they actually freeze really well. So check that out. If you've got a bunch of stuff left over, freeze it, and like I said, don't be afraid to gift it to someone else. All right, so that gets me to tip number four. Chew while you chop. So this is something that I do all the time. So I compete in, in bodybuilding competitions and when I do compete, my diet has to be super dialed in. But I love to cook and I love to cook food, I love to prep my food, I love to cook for my husband, my child, everything like that. So when I'm in the kitchen, I like to chew mint flavored gum while I cook because that is gonna keep me from snacking and grazing while I'm in the kitchen. The other thing I like to do as well is I will get a large bottle of water and say, okay, it's gonna take me about an hour to cook and in this hour, I'm gonna drink this entire bottle of water. So it gives you something to do that takes your mind off of food while you're in the kitchen. And that leads me right into tip number five, which is watching out for the BLT. Some of you, if you're working with me with nutrition coaching, you know you've heard me talk about these. The BLTs are the bite, licks, and taste, right? And that's what that chewing mint gum is gonna help prevent you from. It's gonna save you from yourself because I guarantee that you can think back to a time in life where you've cooked dinner, and by the time it was actually time to serve dinner and sit down, you were full because you've been in the kitchen all day 
eating and snacking and grazing and tasting this and sampling that. So be aware of the BLTs, right? That's something also too that applies in life. When you are cooking for children, they don't eat all their food, throw it away or put it in a glass container and save it for later. If you are, you know, portioning out almond butter or nuts or things like that, be true to your portions. Don't say, I'm going to get a tablespoon of almond butter and I'm going to put it on my toast or my rice cake or whatever it is, but then I'm going to eat two more tablespoons. Well, boom, you just ate 500 extra calories that you weren't planning on eating, right? And if you're saying you're in a weight loss mindset, body fat, trying to transform, and you have a set allotted number of calories to eat every day, you just took up a huge portion of your calories for nothing right? A couple bites. So not a lot of volume. It just doesn't really satisfy you. So watch out for the BLTs. All right. And tip number six, pretty straightforward is move it to lose it, right? So I am not just talking about straight exercise. Of course, I want you to strength train. Of course, I want you to do cardio and I want you to train. I want you to mobilize. I want you to do yoga. I want you to move your body, but I also want you to focus on neat activities. So that is non-exercise activities. So what do I mean by that? That is walking the dog, playing with the kids outside, parking at the far end of the mall and walking into the mall, parking in the far uh, out in the parking lot and walking to the grocery store. That way you have to push your buggy all the way back out, you know, to your car to load it. So find ways to move other than just exercise. The more calories you can burn, the more movement you can have, the more you are going to help your body in metabolizing all the extra goodies that we've partaken in. So you guys, that is it. That is all I've got. I hope you enjoyed this three part series on some healthy tips to survive the holidays and avoid the unwanted weight gain. Five to 10 pounds is what the average American gains. Can you believe that? Between five to 10 pounds and that study was, was done between Thanksgiving and the new year talking less than two months to gain five to 10 pounds. And here's the thing, it's gonna take you two to four months to get rid of that five to 10 pounds. So don't be that person that says, F it, it's the holidays, I'm gonna eat whatever I want. I'm not saying you can't enjoy your favorite foods, I'm just saying moderation, portion control, it's worth it to stay on your plan not only from a weight loss perspective, but also from a health perspective, right? So you're worth it. Be patient, be diligent, be mindful, plan, plan, plan. Have an attack plan going into an event, going into your week, right? You should have a plan going into your week, every week of what you're gonna eat. And I think that's very important because we live in a society where there's so many options, there's so many opportunities to indulge in foods that are not Good for us. So we need to have a plan. We need to have a strategy and know what we're going to do to avoid consuming things that we should not. All right, my friends, that is all I got. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the little bell icon. So that way you get an alert every time I upload a new video or a new workout video. All right, guys, that is all I got. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, my email is in the description down below. If you guys ever have any questions, comments, concerns, email me, drop a comment in the bottom of this video, and I will get back to you guys ASAP. All right, my friends, sending lots of mad love and energy out to you for your week. Happy holidays. I hope it's a fabulous one. Be good. Take care.